Hey y'all, so in this video I'm gonna be talking about how I pay myself um, for my businesses and kind of like how I like separate my money and stuff because I guess a lot of people don't, I don't know, like, I think people do it different ways. I think people, some people give themselves a percentage, some people give themselves a pay date, like as if you had like a 95, like some people um, just, I'm gonna tell you how I do it and then y'all tell me if that's helpful to y'all. So, alright, I'm about to just tell y'all how I do it. So. How I separate my money is like the money that I get from my website goes into my bank account, right? It goes into my regular bank account. I only got one bank account. I need to get two, but I only got one bank account. So it all goes into my bank account, right? So Stripe, which is what you pay, what they use to pay you through your website, if it's not PayPal, takes a couple days to pin, to post to your account. PayPal posts immediately, I think and i think that's it yeah so they post immediately but what i do is i write down my like my expenses like my my okay so i do it in two parts this is like getting kind of confusing but i'm gonna try to make it like clear for you all but i do it in two parts right so i do my personal expenses and then i do my business expenses right so you could do this on an Excel spreadsheet if it's easier. Um, I used to do it that way, but like I got like lazy as shit. So I just like write it down or I put it in my notes on my phone. So what you have to pay for day to day. And you know what else is a good thing? If you save your receipts. Because sometimes you begin above yourself thinking you have more money than you really have. And then you're just swiping and swiping and swiping. And then all of a sudden you spend all your money on food and stuff. So if you save your receipts, that's really helpful too. I don't save my receipts, but I should probably start because, you know, whatever. But you could do it on a weekly basis. You can do it on a monthly basis or whatever. So you could put in, like, how much money you averagely make or how much money you made that week. Or you could do it, like, by the month just to get a better idea of what your budget should be. But if you do it by weekly, that's, like, way better than doing it by monthly because then you could really see, like, everything you spend money on, like, from food to like personal stuff to business stuff like even with your business like you gotta buy like different materials like you gotta buy like shipping stuff you gotta buy your inventory whatever you might have to pay for and then you want to also keep track of like how much money you get back from your business so like if you're doing like i don't know me i do like logos sometimes sometimes i sell vendors it's not just like my straight up products so you want to account for every little money that you make and I do eyelash extensions so you want to account for everything you make and then account for like what expenses you're gonna have or how much money you spent that week so you want to never spend more than you make in that week that is so important because it sounds easy but listen never spend more than you make that week because now you're hustling backwards so if you only make a hundred dollars that week don't go out and spend like 60 70 dollars on food and stuff and now you're down to nothing like that's not more than you made but it's like bitch you can't go, be going out spending everything that you worked for this week or whatever because it be getting hard sometimes when you own a business and you have those slow months or slow weeks or maybe you're not motivated or whatever so your business not doing as well as it should be doing so you want to be you just want to chill like you just want to work hard work hard and then like once you have like a little space then spend money but basically that's how i how i do my budget and stuff like that i just write down what i made my profits i write down my expenses and then i subtract to see if i'm in the good or if i'm not and things like that so it's hard it really is hard oh oh how i pay myself it really is hard to like find a balance because when you first start like having like like a, a steady stream of income from somewhere else stuff like that it's crazy like you feel like a boss bitch like you feel like you don't need nobody you don't need nothing because bitch you're self-made self-paid right but you like it's it's a great feeling to be able to make money and make a living off of something that you put your name on you created you worked hard for and stuff if you want to reward yourself sometimes but really save more than you make no really save more than you spend i'm sorry and really keep an eye on your expenses and stuff because you don't want to go broke trying to look like you're rich and that's not i used to think owning a business you had to be rich but you really just need to be smart with your money because you can really be comfortable off of your own business really really be comfortable but 
um what else looks like oh how i pay myself so basically i just take whatever's comfortable like most of the time okay so i have a job and then i have a business right so most of the time the money that my the money that's coming from my business is just like free money like i of, of course i started my business with the money from my job but once you get into that pattern of like making money from your business and stuff it'll kind of like pay for itself so the money that i'm making um off of like all the things that i do in my business is kind of going back into the business and then some of it is just sitting so i try to have that that same process going on just in case something happens where i have to like buy inventory and then i'm not having to wait to get paid to buy my inventory if that makes sense so i just kind of like take whatever's comfortable like i kind of like chill on that money because it's like if i want to like take some time off of work or something like that i'll have that money to spend or i'll have that money like i don't have to like stress myself out about like working like you know acting like i can't miss a day of work like it's kind of like it makes it more comfortable for me like i kind of like i don't really depend on the money for my business or whatever i kind of like take like i kind of find a balance between my job and my business so i don't really depend on the money for my business to like eat and stuff because it's not my only stream of income so that's good too so i can only speak from like my experience of what i'm doing with my business but like i just try to like keep like streams of income coming just in case one thing don't work out like if i'm starting to like miss days from work and stuff like that and you know like my money my check's not popping like that then i'll have my business to fall back on and then if my business is not doing as well i have my job to fall back on so it's kind of like i just balance it out like that so basically if i need something and my um, my money for my job is not sufficing then i like dip into like my business money but i make sure it doesn't go below a certain amount or like i always have that money to like 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 as a cushion kind of so that's kind of how i pay myself like especially if i'm like doing something usually the money for my business goes back into the business but like if i need it then i'll just take it from there but i don't pay myself like on a weekly basis and i don't like pay myself like on a monthly basis it's just like as needed like like say i want to go like buy a fucking uh something for my house or i want to go buy a table or something like that i'll just get the money buy it and put the money back or whatever or say i want to buy like a big item or something and i don't really want to use my money that i work for i want to use well it's money that i work for but you know what i mean i want to use a different money from somewhere else i'll do that but like besides that i don't really like i don't have a, like a strategic way that i pay myself i just like if i need it i go get it if i don't need anything and i'm fine and i just leave it where it's at but some people actually pay their stuff on a weekly basis and i don't know if i'll ever change like as my businesses grow am i ever going to change like how i pay myself and stuff but i don't i don't think i don't think so i just like how it is now like i just like like being able to have that money and being able to have some type of cushion and some type of like security kind of because it's just like if my car breaks down anything like it's just like a nice security to have because it's like you're not depending on one income and it's just, it just feels so free like it just feels like so much freedom like i just love it so i don't know if i answered like the questions that everybody was asking me but basically i don't have a set way that i pay myself i just do it as i go i might change it in the future I might change it in the future, but right now, that's just how I do it. I just try to write down, like, my expenses, what I make, and things like that, just to, like, give myself a better idea. And then, yeah. So, let me let me know if there's any other questions y'all have about paying yourself or, like, budgeting and things like that. Um, but I hope this video was helpful. I feel like it was all over the place, but I don't know. I'm going to watch it back and see, make, see if it makes sense. If it does not make sense i am not gonna post it but if you're watching this i think it made sense so i don't know but it's just i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know if this makes sense or not i don't know if this is helpful comment below if i like help if, if i gave you like a little bit of clarity on like how i pay myself and stuff or if i kind of answered your questions from my last video or if i kind of didn't or if you have another question just comment it down below and i'll make a part two to budget in um with your business and like how to keep track of your expenses and how to pay yourself so i'm rambling but i'm gonna see y'all in my next video and yeah so make sure y'all comment down below and then also my social medias will be in the um description box so if y'all want to dm me or anything like that y'all feel free to do so because i will definitely write y'all back but thank you for watching y'all and i'll see y'all in my next video